Dear students, in this video, we shall see the structure, theme and figure of speech of the poem, a photograph written by Shirley Tolson. There is only one stanza in this poem and it is a three verse poem. Three verse means that the poet has not used any rhyme scheme. But here and there we can see examples of half rhyme in the poem. The poet has explored the theme of loss or mourning and memories, sorrow and joy in the poem of photograph. Let us see the figure of speech now. First line, it is personification. Personification is a figure of speech in which an idea or thing is given, human attributes and or feeling or is spoken of as if it were human. So here you can see that cardboard has been personified because cardboard shows. Just like how a human being show, cardboard shows. So the figure of speech used in the first line is personification. Let us see where else personification is used. Here you can see, and the sea, which appears to have changed less, washed their terribly transient feet, which means that the sea has washed their terribly transient feet. Here, sea has been personified, which does the action of washing. In the last line, its silence silences. Here, its refers to death. So, death silence silences. So, here it means that silence has been personified, which is given the quality of silencing others. So just like how a human being silences others, here silence silences others. Here silence is a noun whereas silences is a verb. So silence noun is personified. Next we shall see allusion. Allusion is used in the first line. Allusion refers to an object or circumstance from unrelated context is referred to covertly or indirectly. Here cardboard refers to photograph. Hence it is allusion. Next we shall see examples of alliteration. Alliteration is the occurrence of the same letter or sound at the beginning of adjacent or closely connected words. That is except the vowel sounds or the consonant sounds. So here in the third line we can see that my mother's both the words begin with M. So here it is alliteration. In the line all three stood still to smile through their hair. Here you have two alliterations. One is stood still smile where sound of S is used as the first letter and then through there, there also you can see the sound of T letter is used. Again my mother where M sound is repeated. Watched their terribly transient feet T T T. Their terribly transient all these words begin with the letter T. In the next line also 20, 30 where you have the first same letter T. With the labored ease of loss, where labored loss, both the words begin with the letter L. In the third line, we have one more alliteration. Holding hands, both the words begin with H. So they are also alliterated words there. Next, we shall see the examples of imagery. Imagery includes figurative or metaphorical language to improve the reader's experience through their senses. So in the line and the C, which appears to have changed less, here the poet wants the readers to evoke their visual senses and understand the line. Hence it is imagery. Next to transferred epithet. Transferred epithet is a modifier, usually an adjective which qualifies a noun. Other than the person or thing, it is actually describing. In the line, washed to their terribly transient feet. Transient feet. Here the word transient means that which is not permanent or which means temporary. So when the poet says transient feet, she doesn't mean that feet is temporary. In fact, she wants to mean that the life is temporary in the world. So hence the adjective transient refers to life and not feet. Hence the figure of speech used here is transferred epithet. Next we have oxymoron. Oxymoron are apparently contradictory words which appear in conjunction. Here in the line with the labored ease of loss. Labored is, labored means something which is done with great effort and difficulty, whereas ease means something which is done very easily. So both are contradictory terms and they appear in conjunction means that they both appear close to each other, that is next to each other, hence it is oxymoron. Epithet, already we have seen transferred epithet, 
in transferred epithet the quality of the adjective actually transfers whereas in epithet the quality of adjective refers to the noun so an epithet is a word or phrase which describes the main quality of someone or something and they are usually adjectives that describe a noun so here again coming back to the same line was the terribly transient feet here terribly is not used as an adverb in fact here it is an adjective and terribly refers to transient feet together terribly is also an adjective not an adverb here which qualifies the transient feet and the quality doesn't transfer to any other noun here hence it is epithet now we shall see the lines where enjambment is used enjambment is when a line runs on into the next without any stop or pause maintaining the sense here the first two lines if you see the cardboard shows me how it was when the two girls there is no pause at the end of the line first line neither full stop is used or a comma is used even in the second line also when the two girl cousins went badly each one holding there also you don't have any punctuation so here the line runs into the next line without any stop or pause so the figure of speech used in the first two lines here is in chapman then here in the lines all three stood still to smile through their hair at the uncle with the camera so continuation of the first line into the next line a sweet face by mothers there also without any pause or stop the line is continuing and even in the next line also i was born and the sea continuation of the line and in the next line also which appears to have changed less washed there so here also you can see continuation into the next line without any stop or pause so the figure of speech used in these lines are also enjambment then almost in all the lines you can see here there is no punctuation at the end of the line years later she would laugh at the see betty and jolly and look how they dressed us the sea holiday was her past both ride with the labored ease of loss as many years as that girl lived circumstances there is nothing to say here all these lines you can see there is no stop or pause and the line is continuing on to the next line so the figure of speech used here is enjambment now let us see cesura cesura is just exactly an opposite of enjambment here you have a break in the line where the reader pauses usually through punctuation here in the line at the uncle with the camera you have a comma a sweet face so there is a pause in the line after camera so the figure of speech here is cesura my mother's comma so there is a pause hence it is cesura and in the next line also you can see and the sea there is a comma which appears to have changed in this here also you have cesura she would laugh at the snapshot and you have a full stop there hence there is a break in the line hence it is cesura the next line also and the dolly after that a comma and even a quote begins she would say and there is a comma again so break in the line hence it is cesura the next line also dresses for the beach after that there is a full stop and the closure of the inverted quotes hence it is cesura was her past comma there is a pause then again minus her laughter after laughter there is a pause using a full stop hence it is cesura and as that girl lived you have a full stop hence it is cesura so when there is a break in the line it is cesura and when the when there is a continuation into the next line it is enjambment dear students since a photograph is a cbsc poem if you want explanation in hindi do comment in the comment box subscribe my channel to watch the other videos and to get updates on new videos if you like the video do like and share it with your friends thank you happy learning